Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to the channel. Hey, we're getting ready to do this roll cage and uh, actually we got started on it and it's turned out really, really nice. Um, I didn't get as much done as I would want to this week, but uh, enough to show you guys uh, where we're at on it and uh, kind of a couple little tech tips here for you guys as well. These are the, uh, the A-pillar bars that we bent for the car. And um, I'm just gonna go over a couple things with you. These bars are probably the hardest bars to bend in the complete car in my opinion and the reason for that is is these bars have three bends in them and they're all bent on different planes and the thing about this is when you bend uh one it's easy to bend one and you know get the three bends but what makes it so difficult is you have to bend the second bar the exact same bends on the exact same planes but opposite they have to be mirror image of the other one which makes it very very difficult to do especially if you do it with a manual bender like I do, but I've been doing it for you know 30 plus years with this bender and I know this bender like the back of my hand. But if you're out there and you guys, uh, you know, you're having a car built or you're going to buy a car, uh, one of the first things I would always look at is I would look and see if the A-pillar bars are bent properly. I mean, right away, you're going to know a quality roll cage uh, when you, you would look at it. Uh, if you look from the front of the car and to see if the A-pillar bars are in there you know, they're parallel, they're symmetrical. And if, you know, they're all crooked and things like that, you, you know right away that that cage probably isn't going to be nice. But, you know, another, uh, another uh, thing to look at when you're looking at roll cages too is the welding, obviously. That'd probably be the first thing, like if you're going to buy a car or, or if you have someone building a car, you know, check their welding. Make sure the welding's nice. You know, if the welding isn't nice on it, man, I, I, I'd walk away from it because you got to remember, man, these roll cages are here to save your life you know they're not just there for looks so um you got to be careful and uh and if you guys are doing these yourself just take your time and practice and it's going to take you some time if you're if you're going to be doing this to bend these right uh i mean years ago it, I, I wasted a lot of tubing i scrapped a lot of tubing but i was so determined to be able to do it that i just uh i just kept doing it kept doing it until until i figured out a way to, to do it right but um um, it's pretty critical that, uh, this is done right because again, it's for your safety, but, uh, I got these here. Uh, I'm going to show it, show them to you. And I, I'm actually going to probably bring the camera down. And so you can see actually how symmetrical these are. I mean, these are absolutely perfect. Um, again, but I've been, been in these tubes for, for years and I can't even count how many roll cages I've done over the years, but, um, I'm going to show you that also too, on all the roll cages we do. We sand every tube before we even put it in the car. We fit them all, we sand them, we put them in the car. So, you know, when it comes time to paint, um, it's just minimal scuffing and they're, and they're ready to shoot. You know, if you put them in the car like this, down the road, it's, it, it's a lot of time to try to sand them and it's just, it's hard to do in the car. And uh, it just, it turns out for a better roll cage when they're sanded like this. It's, you know, it's extra time, but it's well worth it in, in the end. Um, so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna bring the camera around. I'm gonna show you these how how, how nicely they're bent, and then um, then I'm gonna take the camera over to the car. Where, where I'm gonna put these in there and show you how tight they are to the body of the car, and they're absolutely perfect. And um, and also too, they're tight to the body, and that's another thing you really want to look at too when you when you're you know having a car built or you're or you're you're gonna buy a car. You want to make sure that roll cage is tight to the body. Because you don't want the cage inward because it's going to be restricting you when you're driving the car. And, um, and it just doesn't, it doesn't look good either, you know. Um, but uh, when you've got a nice tight roll cage, everything's symmetrical, the welding's nice, then you're going to know you got you a nice, nice roll cage in the car. And we take pride on that and when we build our roll cages. And if one of these bars was bent, you know, uh, a little bit off, I'd rebend it. I mean, I would just scrap the tubing and it wouldn't be a second thought in my mind. Um, because every roll cage out of here, you know, it, it's, we're, they're done to the best of our ability and, um, we won't let anything go unless we think it's absolutely correct. So, uh, that's just how we do it. Um, but I want to show you a little, you know, tech tip on that. I'm going to bring the camera over, show you these, bring them back, put them in the car and then show you how tight they are in the car. Okay. So we're back over at the car. And before I show you the inside of the roll cage, I wanted to show you these real quick. These are the bars, you know, in the engine bay. And uh, we knocked these out real quick. That turned out real, real nice. We were able to do these uh, first because we put the dash bar in first uh, and during the build and these attached to that. So uh, we were able to knock these out real quick and then jump back inside the car and 
and um, you know continue on with the roll cage build on any of the specs you know being an 850 or 750 or 60 chassis um, these bars aren't part of that so uh, you know even though they're not part of it you still want to you know bend them nice make them look nice and obviously the welding be nice but uh, I'll do a quick walk around here and just let you see those and then uh, when then we'll go around inside the car and you'll see the inside Okay, so now I'm back over at the car, and I got the, the eight pillar bars up in there, and they're they're just sitting there. I got them taped. But I, what I wanted to show you is uh, how this is perfectly in line with the bottom bottom of the body. And what what's nice about that is, you know, if you're looking from the side of the car, you don't you won't even see the roll cage. I mean, you if you look at from the from the eight pillar, you don't see the roll cage, and if you look, you know, from the roof of the car, you don't even see the roll cage. And um, that, that's really nice, you know, that's how you know it's really tucked up in there in, uh, you know, in the, in the, the builder or installer, you know, did a nice job and they got the cage real nice in there. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you to the front of the car and I'm going to show you uh, how symmetrical the bars are and how tight they are to the pillars as well. And then I don't know if you can tell from this, this angle, but um, probably tell better from the other angle that I'm going to show you is how tight the main hoop is. I showed you uh, how I bent the main hoop. And I built so many of these cars that I can bend these, all these bars without even having the body here. But, um, but you'll see how tight this is. And this, this is pretty critical, in my opinion, in, in any race car. You want this tight to the roof, tight to the outside. And what that is, when, you, when you're sitting in the driver's seat and, you know, you're staging the car, you're driving the car, you're totally comfortable. You're in, your arm's not like this, you know, hitting off the roll cage. And then it's, if there was ever an unfortunate incident where you were to roll the car, you know, this thing is up above your head. You definitely don't want the roll cage, you know, even with your helmet or below your helmet, because obviously that would that would be a bad thing. But um, so, OK, I'm going to bring the camera around. I'm going to show you the front view and then you guys can see how uh, how nice it's coming together. OK, so this is the front view and I know it's kind of hard for you guys to see, but I'm going to do the best I can here. So basically you can see how tight these eight pillars are, are to the eight pillar itself. I mean, the, the bar is touching here and it's touching down here. So you're going to have minimal, minimal gap here. I mean, the only way you can really make it tighter on this particular body is that, but I put a, put a bend in the sign and I, you know, you wouldn't do that, but, um, you know, these are going through the dash and your steering wheels over here. I mean, your hand is miles away from that bar. Um, and then if you look from the front, you know, if you can see from that view, these things are perfectly symmetrical when they're coming down. Another thing I want to point out too is how how nice the main hoop is to the shape of the body, nice and tight all the way up to the headliner. These are all the way out to the side, actually touching the headliner all the way across, all the way here on both sides. I mean they're 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 perfect in uh, as far as symmetrical goes. Um, so that's just something I wanted to point out. We just you know they're just clamped in there right now, but I'm getting ready to bend this bar right now, and um, and then we'll start tacking that in. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start bending this hoop. I like to do what we do. We call horseshoe or wraparound bar. It's going to start here and it's going to go right above the seat by the package tray and swing back down. And then I'll have bars come down to that. And that's what we'll do next. Um, and then we'll show you that on the next video. But um, that's it for this, this part of the video in the roll cage. I uh, hope you guys are liking it and uh, we're going to keep doing it. And you guys are going to see the whole the full build on this this roll cage here uh, re real soon so thanks again for watching please like and subscribe and we'll see you guys on the next one